Today, Governor Inslee announced that some construction work can restart in our state as long as very strict health guidelines are followed. We will be evaluating which Auburn projects will be starting again. This is good news, and I'm hopeful that our construction workers will do all of the right things to ensure they are not putting themselves and others in danger. So what does reopening look like in Auburn? I've had many people ask me, what's our plan? Well, with construction projects starting to come back, you're probably wondering what other things will start to open and what that will look like. Let's talk about it. First, it's going to be slow and it's going to be strategic. Second, we will still need to practice health guidelines. Those don't go away. Third, we will have to be as vigilant and motivated as possible to stop the spread when we start to get back to our regular living as we are now. I am just as eager as you are to see our businesses open their doors, our parks filled with activity and families together celebrating and hugging. Although I'm not looking forward to the extra traffic, I can promise you that. But the last thing we want is to cause another spike in the spread and to have everything closed down again. I also don't want to lose any more people to this virus. I am asked often if I know how many people in Auburn have the virus, and I do. The information on the Seattle King County Public Health website reports that as of yesterday, over 300 people in Auburn have tested positive for COVID-19, and 10 plus have died. I don't know any of these people personally, but I know that they were ours, and I am praying for the day when those numbers stop growing. This is a very, very stressful time for all of us. We've all had our lives upended in every way, no matter who you are, no matter your age, no matter where you live. I am so very proud of everyone and how you've handled everything that has been thrown at you and I know all of you out there have taken on much more than you ever wanted. And I want to acknowledge those difficulties and let you know that I feel anxious and stressed too. Yes, even overwhelmed at times and sometimes fearful. Now, I don't have any magic answers for you and I certainly will not sugarcoat anything or pretend that everything is okay because it's not. We have a lot of work to do in order to get to the other side of this, and I just want you to know that I know how hard it is. But I also know that we'll get through this. And once again, I'm calling on each one of you to keep looking out for one another and take care of yourself. It's hard, but we can do it. Just as times like when we had Snowmageddon last year, and I asked each of you to make sure that you were looking out for your neighbors, this is no different. It may have to be done at a distance, but we are still taking care of one another. To those that have suffered economic losses or those that have lost their school year, their senior year, those that are out there on the front line every day fighting this virus, or those who are feeling lonely and missing their family and friends, we've got this and we see you. Don't give up the fight just yet, Auburn. We need you because we are Auburn proud and we are Auburn strong.